Hi, my name is Basant Raj Singh. Today I have this footage and I want to track this window. I will take a tracker node, grab a pattern, adjust our pattern area, then adjust our search area. I am copying this tracker node for later use with same pattern box and same search area. I am making backdrop for this regular tracking so for our regular tracking i am going with our default practice that is click track to the end pay attention to here zoom window it's sticking and it's deviated now so our track is finished and when i am go to the last frame i am seeing this okay my track has deviated although it was looking a simple motion but our default approach is not so good so i am taking now this tracker with the same pattern box and same search area and first i will analyze the motion and when i am analyzing the footage i am noticing that the motion pace of the footage is same till 45 47 after it has faster motion and then again it's slower towards the end nuke has feature for the keyframe tracking means we can put keyframe manually to help our tracker manual keyframe serve as a guidance for the tracker don't put keyframe randomly always analyze motion and put keyframe where there is changes in motion so in our case we have first keyframe as the first frame whatever keyframe you made that will appear here so now i will go to the 547 frame and make a keyframe adjust keyframe nudge in precision here and compare with the previous keyframe now i will go 70 72 because till here the motion is faster and again i will make a keyframe and compare with the previous keyframe and i will make a keyframe at the last comparing with that previous keyframe okay so now i have made these keyframes so these keyframes serve as a guidance for our tracker node and now for keyframe tracking we have two buttons here one is key track all and other is key track current when you want to track between two keyframes press key track current but if you want to track all keyframes all together click key track all so i am going to click key track all and pay attention here in zoom box it's sticking it seems fine it's still holding yeah little shifted and again holding just making with few keyframes it's giving nice result it has one jump near 45 46 frame it's fine at 47 again fine at 50 it has jump at 48 so i will make key at 48 as soon as you adjust keyframe after that keyframe tracking it's taking automatic tracking so now it's looking all good checking the health of tracker i am just going to the first frame and just stabilizing and play and it's nice so and if we compare with our first tracker regular tracker let's make a backdrop to keyframe tracking so if i make a stabilize with our regular track and it's not that precise that our keyframe tracking so this keyframe tracking is less used but it is very helpful feature when you want to track a complex motion or our default practice is not giving nice result in first attempt or second attempt it's always worth trying and it's help most of the time please try thank you